Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do Maya's pigtails. Now this is something I didn't think was too difficult, but I get a lot of questions how I maintain perfect One, pigtails. One, with... two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have put about a tablespoon of the leave-in conditioner of the Kinky Curly Not Today. I love this stuff. And so it sort of foamed up a bit when I sprayed it. It's not a big deal. It's gonna penetrate into her hair shaft and really moisturize her hair. So I'm gonna make sure that it's completely distributed. I had a little too much product and so I just rubbed it on the front portion of her hair as well. I'm going to use her neck as a guide to have a perfect center part. I really like straight parts and so, especially when it's just one, I try to make sure it's nice and neat. The key to having a really smooth uh, ponytail, whether it's pigtails or ponytail, is to make sure that the hair is completely combed out. There are no knots or bumps in the hair at all. If you notice, I wrap the hair around and hold it really tight so that Maya does not feel any tugging at all on her scalp. I like to add accessories and so I make sure to put it right along her ear. And so if I had a headband, it can still fit. All right, I'm gonna move on to the other side now. I'm going to repeat the same steps that I did to the previous side. Again, make sure the hair is completely combed out and detangled. And try to comb in the direction of the ponytail. So if you're doing a, a pigtail, make sure you comb the center, you know, going toward the direction that you're gonna actually tie the ponytail. I used about a pea size amount of the edge control and I rub it between my fingers or my hand so that it evenly distributes. Make sure the ponytail is tight enough so that the hair is still flat and it's not, you know, poofy, but not so tight to where you can actually see the tension along the hairline. You really want to be sure, especially with toddler and baby hair, you have no, little to no tension along the hairline. So I finger coil to add some definition. This really makes a big difference and all of this will dry completely clear. So this is optional, you don't have to add any edge control to the edges. I usually don't do this on a daily basis because, I mean, you know, she's a baby or a toddler, I guess. It's not really a big deal, she doesn't have to look perfect. But it's great for photos, it's great, you know, if you want to send your kid to school looking really polished. This isn't going to last all day long, I will tell you, this has, this has more of a flexible hold. This isn't something that's going to be really hard and hold in place all day, but it does a, it does a pretty good job. It does hold for a few hours, and if she's not outside playing really hard, it could hold for about half of the day, I would say. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the other side. We are basically done here. You could stop here if you'd like. What I really like about this edge control is that it doesn't have any harsh chemicals. And so I think that's probably one of the reasons why it doesn't hold super, super strong. So 
I have no idea where the scarf came from. I'm always getting questions about where I got the scarf from. I have no idea. I've asked my mom. She doesn't remember where she got the scarf. So the scarf helps to set her hair. So if her hair is damp and you put the scarf on, it helps sort of um, hold the hair in place while it dries a little bit and so the hair holds a lot better. We played a little bit and now we're taking the scarf off. I don't know if you can tell in the video but her hair is about 50% dry um, along her hairline. And we can have some fun and add some accessories. These are from Marley and Me. I'll link all of the products down below. I really, really like this. It's so pretty. And I had no idea it was so crooked, so. Isn't she adorable? This would be really cute for Halloween or just, you know, going to the park or having fun on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the kind words and support. I really appreciate you My all. Is a cow say? Here no. are some outtakes. What does a cat say? Thank you again, everybody. Yeah. What does a sheep say? <laughs> <laughs>